Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So just very really quickly, my throat is so close to giving up. Like it's not the row now, whatever. It's just ice cream too much during 80s concerts. It's like two years of inactivity and my throat just it doesn't know how to act anymore. Just be warned, if you're going to a concert sooner, you haven't gone to any events like in the past two years or so, be careful not to strain your vocal cords or throat or whatever. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Anyways, chicks here are back and I have to share with you the good news because it is the proof of my uh, journey with them, I suppose. This comeback, it is the first time ever that I purchased the three versions of the album. Usually what I would do is I would go for like my favorite version of the album, like picture wise and everything. But this time around, I heard the album Italy and I was like, this is it. This is it. Just based on my reaction to the album Italy, I was like, I am in love. So I decided to trust my instinct and just go ahead and buy the three versions. Because yeah, the album Italy, it was almost like love at first hearing. And also like the teaser pictures were just splendid. So yeah, I am happy and proud to say that I, for the first time, have purchased the three versions. And that really goes to show like, I think my journey with them as a group. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this comeback and I'm even more excited to receive my albums when they get here. All right, so without any further ado, I have the English captions on. Good boy, gone bad. Let's go. I am almost certain that I'm going to love this already, but uh, you know. Oh, starting off with trash. Not you though, baby. Swallowed by trash. Wow. Who dumps you? This Sylvian is going to ruin my life. Dare I say? Dare I say? Are you kidding me? This is such a strong contest into like sorry, like. This is. Better than great. Oh. oh, he knew what he was doing. Yep, my funeral. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. No, he's. Mm mm. Yanjun, please. You know what? I'm gonna say I like this view. I don't care. I'm 
I'm, we might be dead there, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, listen, I did say straight out of the bat that I would certainly be enjoying it. You know, I, I was almost certain that I would like it eventually. And it didn't take them long to prove me right. You guys know that I have a tendency to <laughs> speak too quickly sometimes and uh, then regret it and go back on my ways. Not that I have the chance to do it on my channel necessarily, but you know, I do speak too quickly sometimes and you know, throw out uh, thoughts when I'm high on emotion, when I'm in the heat of the moment, you know, so I do sometimes throw out statements like this that are quite uh, severe, but I do have a feeling that this is, at least in my opinion, you know, in my heart, in my brain, my whole entire body, this to me is a strong contestant to being sorry, like so far, you know, this was just perfect. From the soft, angsty, what is it, whispers to the more rock chorus to the very strong and like pointed raps and everything, plus the very smooth vocals at some points, it's like all of this was so incredibly well balanced that it created this masterpiece. I almost want to say that they have found themselves like musically speaking and conceptually speaking. These past few comebacks, I definitely feel like they have found themselves and their identity. I'm only saying this because I'm also not like so familiar with them, you know, I'm, I'm only in the very how should I put it? Like, I know them from a very surface level basis, you know? I don't know them that much, so what I'm saying is take it with a grain of salt. But like, from where I'm standing, it sounds and looks like they have definitely found themselves, at least when it comes to title tracks. So I feel like this song represents them the best out of their whole entire discography. I feel like this is the perfect balance of what TXT is, in my opinion, right now, and what they have grown to become, if that makes sense. They fit this concept of like the more angsty, punk, pop, rock, I don't know how you describe it, but like this thing that they have going on right now, they might be the only one who do it like this in the industry, and therefore they're doing it the best. Again, please take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, because like, I'm so not in my best condition right now that I can be saying stuff and forget like so many others, so yeah. <laughs> apologize for this. What I'm saying right now is coming from a very uh, reduced brain capacity, even more than what I usually have, you know, so yeah, anyways. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I love whatever they're doing right now. I don't know what genre this is, but I see it as like a fusion of different genre, like punk rock, pop, rap, all of that together. And they do it like so perfectly. Like, this might just become one of my favorite songs of theirs just because of how well balanced everything is. Their acting game too. Can we can we speak about the acting game too? Like, Bongyu's like eyes in the beginning of the music video when he's being swallowed by the trash. Damn. It's funny because in the music video, they look like they're the perpetrator of that heartbreak, but they also look like they're the victim of that heartbreak both in one music video, do you know what I mean? This is the villain origin story, isn't it? There's this thing, right, about uh, in every movie or whatever, when uh, someone who is inherently good had something bad happen to them and then they turn into a villain. This is what's going on here. This is the villain origin story. Good boy gone bad. Oh my God. They look tortured. I just kill me with all that stress. That represents me very well. <laughs> Kai, in this music video, looks like a, a great god. I mean, they all look so incredibly good, but what's new, you know? Tell me, did Yeonjun really drive that motorcycle? Because that's kind of hot. <laughs> At the beginning of the bridge, when suddenly Yeonjun is like standing up and he's like, it's almost like he's accepting that he's become bad. Like he says, what, what does he say? I like being bad or whatever. I like being bad. That's what I'm saying. This is like the villain's origin story. I freaking love it. I already had an inkling that I would like it, you know, but it's even better than what I had expected. It's better than great. It's, it's just more than anything that I have expected. And I do believe that it is a strong content contender? Contestant? Whatever. To sorry. You know, even though I have a tendency to speak too quickly, I, I don't... I don't have that feeling that I'm being mistaken right now. So, you know, we'll see at the end of the year, but uh, 
I absolutely love this. I adore this. This was this was so great. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.